Dad, hi Zach. Well, Japan's been really fun. I miss you guys. And this weekend, I was with my family. Well, for more, two days and a half. And the first day on Saturday, we went to the Shimakaku school and we <laughs> sat at this extremely long table and made the longest sushi I think I'll ever see. And we put it like fried egg, I think it was, with cucumbers, mushrooms, eggplant, or not eggplant, it was gourd. And you put ginger with it too. And then we'd wrap it up all at once and it was probably 50 students. There was a lot of kids. And then we cut it up and we ate it and it was really fun. And I saw Kasuyo and Fuya. I never met their, her, Kasuyo's husband, but I met her. Yeah, it was really great actually. She says she misses you, Mom, and Fuya misses you too. They can't wait to see you again, hopefully, sometime soon. And I have pictures for you guys, yeah. And then after that, we drove for maybe two or three hours to a yen store, a hundred yen store, where I bought a bunch of candy and a bunch of stuff you guys are gonna love. And then we went home and we got, well, we didn't go home quite yet. We went to this restaurant, and this restaurant was really cool because it had a dumb waiter that went around in a circle with booths around it, and the chefs would put the sushi on the dumb waiter, and then you'd pick up the sushi you'd want, and then you'd eat the sushi and you'd stack the plates up according their, to their color, and that was how they charged you, and it was really, really cool. Then we went home and slept, and then on the next day, on Sunday, we went, all of the sh uh, kids who were staying in Shimakapu and their host families, we all went to Ninja Town, and Ninja Town is this Edo period kind of like style town, I guess you could say. Nobody lives there. It's more of a tourist attraction, but it's everybody had dressed up to make it look like people lived there, and it was really incredible to see. And they had these shows that would go on, and they'd show you ninja fights or sumo wrestling. And they had a play, which was funny for the most part, but I didn't understand anything, so that made it a little bit more funny. And, well, it was really great. Uh, we got to see things I totally loved. It was amazing. And we got to eat ramen and, oh, like, a hot dog on a stick. It was really funny. So... We did that, and then today, or no, yesterday, we also went to a restaurant. Got to remember those restaurants. And it was a table with six people that could sit at this one table. And it was three on one side, three on the other. And then there were two stoves on the table, built into the table. And you would go to this buffet, and you would grab a bunch of maybe vegetables or meats or something. You put it on a plate, and then you would run over to the stoves, and you'd fry it for yourself to eat. It was a really interesting experience, mostly because you didn't know if anything was cooked or not, so it was kind of a German roulette game, whether you were going to eat it and be okay, or if you were going to eat it and you were going to have to go to the ER because you didn't know the meat wasn't cooked. So that was really great. And then today, Monday, we just kind of hung out. We, uh, what did we do today? Oh, everything's been so long, it's kind of hard to remember. But this morning we did something fun. It was, huh, I don't know what we did this morning. Okay, I'll tell you that in the next video because I can't remember anything. So, yeah. We've been having a great time. We're now at the Tamamu Towers. We're gonna go swimming at the wave, wave pool. Yeah, it's a wave pool. And we're gonna see how that goes. Miss you guys, love you, bye.